with Savannah Guthrie. Where's the wine? Uh, exactly. Is we, the wine just show wine? The wine just, no, it appears every now and then. Okay. But we're going to wait until after Tony Robbins. He's with us. He's coached some of the world's top entertainers, athletes, heads of state, and everybody from Bill Clinton to Oprah Winfrey has sought his advice. He's awesome. It doesn't stop there, by the way. Tony's books and seminars have helped inspire millions of people around the world to really change their lives. Yeah, his latest bestseller, Money, Master the Game, comes out in paperback today. And he's the subject of a Netflix documentary premiering this summer called I Am Not Your Guru. <laughs> Tony, I thought you're, you were yeah, our what? guru. We're <laughs> no. a little confused. <laughs> no, not at all. What's with the title? Uh, I didn't create it, but the documentarian did, but I thought it was really great because I talk about when people come to events, I'm not here to be your guru. You have the answers. You're not broken. You don't need to be fixed. But we all have patterns that get in our way, right? Patterns that make you frustrated or overwhelmed or stressed. Patterns that make you grateful and happy and euphoric. Yeah. And once you know what those patterns are, you can make changes very rapidly. And the film is designed to show that I made them wait a year so they could show how these people's lives change a year later and it blows people away because most people can never dream of the types of changes. You have people that were unbelievably successful and miserable in their lives and you have people that uh, were suicidal who, you know, I, I've never lost a suicide in 38 years, knock on wood. Doesn't mean I won't someday, but out of thousands and we always follow up and we make films of them. Mm -hmm. So this documentary shows all what that. What was it like to have the cameras following you mm -hmm. around? It was, uh, it, it was exhausting for my wife. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> there wasn't a moment they didn't capture. Yeah. It was pretty amazing. And I think it is cool to show the results because often you go to one of your, like I've seen your things advertised, yes. I've actually wanted to go, but ha it hasn't worked out. And I always wondered, you get that motivation when you're in the room or when you're watching this Netflix documentary, yeah. but what happens after? Is there a way that you can show results of, of, yeah, of what people are going through? Yeah, we follow all our clients and show what it is, but it's really strategy, it isn't motivation. When people see an event with 10,000 people and they're rocking like crazy, it's because education is usually boring. And most people won't sit for a three hour movie yeah. and I take people for 50 hours. You know, Oprah said to me before she came, she goes, Tony, I love you, but I can't sit for two and a half hours yeah. anywhere. Don't, yeah. be, don't be offended when I leave. And 12 hours later, she's standing she's on her chair <laughs> going, this is the greatest experience of my life on camera. It was pretty amazing. It really is amazing. Now you've written this book and I, it's, it seems like it really fills a need because it's about retirement. And a lot of people are just not getting the information they need. And you're mm -hmm. kind of stepping in and filling that space. Oh, I, in 2008, when I saw so many people losing their homes, you know, I grew up incredibly poor and so uh, I one of my big gifts has been feeding people because I was fed when I was 11 uh, on Thanksgiving I never forgot so I, I fed 42 million people over the course of time I fed 100 million people last year alone I took all the profits of the book it was five million dollars and then I added to it and I'm gonna do it again this year I'm gonna feed a billion people over the next 10 years but the book was designed for me to say, can the average person really win today in a market that's so complex with computers that are doing trades, 70% of the trades. And I interviewed everyone from Carl Icahn, Warren Buffett, wow. and I condensed it to show people. The biggest mistake I want people to know is not starting because it seems like you'll never get there. Yeah. But uh, uh, there's you mean not starting saving? Not planning? starting saving and investing, not yeah, becoming right. an owner, just being a consumer is the death of us financially. Mm -hmm. And there's a man named Theodore Johnson that I found who worked for UPS, never made more than 14,000 in a year, but retired with $70 million. Wow. No exaggeration. And all he did is a friend of his said, we're going to put a tax on you, a 20% tax. If the government did it, you'd say, I hate it, but you'd pay it. And they put 20% aside of his 14,000. That's what it compounded to. And he just invested? Invested it, cut, let it grow. The other challenge is advice. You look in the world we're in today, and 95% of the people giving you advice are just a salesman. They're a broker. Yeah. Right. They might be a nice person, but they work for the house, mm -hmm. and the house always wins. Mm -hmm. And what people don't know is that the difference between 1% in fees and 3%, every 1% additional fee you're paying for the same product you could have got for less is 10 years Can of you income. you negotiate that, wow. though? Well, not in most places. But what you want to get is a fiduciary. It's a big word. Yeah. But it's a person who's legally responsible to make sure they put your needs ahead of their own. 95% of the people don't have to put your needs ahead of them. They're called RIAs. And I've been promoting fiduciary standard for four years. And last year, I got so frustrated because they're not all great fiduciaries. So I aligned myself with a company called Creative Planning. And if people go to creativeplanning.net. They're the number one rated firm, number one, for three years in a row on Barron's. No one's done in the history, two years in a row. And I convinced them, they do billionaires and multimillionaires. I convinced them to work with people and do a free analysis for them, a second opinion. Mm -hmm for someone with as little as $50,000. Wow. So then you can implement on your own or you can become a client of theirs. But if anybody wants to do that, they go to creativeplanning.net. That sounds great. And if you can't afford to go to one of your seminars, you can always watch the Netflix uh, <laughs> documentary. Well, that'll, nice that'll take six days in court and do an hour and 50 minutes. You might be our guru. <laughs> Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.